And now to a story you will see only on Local 10. We're talking to the people who caught this. Yes, a gigantic gator <laughs> at a Florida farm. The catch will be one for the record books. No doubt about it, that gator came in at uh, only uh, 15 feet. Oh, did you see that little boy? <laughs> oh yeah, one of the people God. who reeled in this beast is only nine years old. Local 10 News reporter Terrell Fournay spoke with him exclusively. He's live in Venus, Florida with one incredible catch. Terrell. Yeah, Lori and Calvin noticed something in that picture. It wasn't me posing next to that giant <laughs> alligator, but we had to go north of Lake Okeechobee to find this one. That gator weighed a whopping 800 pounds, and it was found near this farm here in a city called Venus, prowling very closely to some livestock. It's one of the biggest ones we've ever killed. It was a monster of a catch. I mean, he was pushing 15 foot, probably. A gigantic gator reeled in during a routine hunt over the weekend. He was dead when we pulled him up, and um, we just drug him out. Of course, we couldn't drag him out by our hands. We pulled, pulled him up with the tractor and, and uh, just got some good pictures of him. Yes, baby, that's what I'm talking about. Lee Lightsey is the professional alligator hunter who moved in for the kill. This video is from past hunts. Thrill-seeking clients pay Lee, who runs Out West Farms, up to $10,000 for the experience. And this time, they didn't have to go far. He was in our bull pasture, and, you know, he could catch a bull. Um, but as far as us, we, go, we knew he was there. We weren't going to get in the water. The priceless picture was snapped right after the kill, and the pint-sized person next to it is Lee's son, nine-year-old Mason. I mean, it was almost up pretty tall. <laughs> almost as tall as the tree. <laughs> Although this reptile is no longer on the prowl, the experts here realize they just likely pulled off a once-in-a-lifetime catch. When gators that size are 100 years old. Um, they're they're few and far between, and One incredible story. We understand that that alligator is already being harvested. They believe that they can get about one to 200 pounds of meat from the tail alone from that oh, alligator, gosh. not to mention the countless number of uh, purses and belts and shoes that will be made uh, from its skin. Uh, Never thought I'd say this, but we are reporting live in the town of Venus. I'm Terrell Fournay, <laughs> Local 10 News. Terrell, had that gator ever hurt anyone or eaten anyone's mm -hmm. pets? I mean, were they aware of this gator? They were definitely aware of the alligator, but as far as they can tell, it never really harmed any pets. But it did pose a risk to some cattle that uh, is roaming around uh, this farm. But we do know that the bigger these alligators are, the more territorial they are. Uh, so they don't believe that any more uh, alligators of this size are at least roaming around in this area. Hey, man, enough mm -hmm. said with that. Territorial. Yeah. yeah okay. <laughs> get to me first, I'll get to you first. They got to it first. All right. Terrell in Venus. Thank you. Thank you.